Yo, what's up? Okay, let's go right to the chase. iPhone 10, about $1,200. RX100 Mark V, top of the line, point and shoot. About 1,000 when I got it, but currently about 960. Step number one, video comparison. Okay, this is what an up and coming uh, show business star looks like. Uh, okay, this is what a Super Bowl champion looks like. Eh? <laughs> All right, now into the color test. <laughs> Your booty. Okay, step number two, microphone comparison. RX100 Mark V and why am I, they know it. They, they know it's these two things. You have to say it. Listen to the birds. Take it in. Which microphone is better, you ask? Well, you're finding out right now. As we speak, one microphone is better than the other or maybe not. Maybe they're both the same. Maybe they're both fantastic or maybe they're both equally subpar. I am the modern day f Frank Sinatra. What more can I say? I okay, step number three. Wow, that's very equity. Comparison of the slow motion. I wouldn't be here today if the old school didn't pave the way. Ain't nothing like the old school. What more can I say? I wouldn't be here today if the old school. I remember Mr. Magic Flash, Grandmaster Castle, L raising hell, but. And it can last seven D and Rock Kim was the shit to me. I flip to see a Dougie Fresh show with Ricky D and Red Alert was putting in work. And Chuck D will have And now finally, comparison of still photos. And we're back. Now, what I like to call a segment called pros and cons. I know, very creative. I'm gonna get the opinion of someone who does this professionally. My cousin who lives in San Francisco, we're gonna ask him his opinion. Yes. You're my camera expert. What is a better <laughs> buy overall? The iPhone 10 camera? Ooh. Or the Sony RX100 Mark V? <laughs> Pro, really, really good depth of field. 1.8 FPS on a smaller sensor, but 1.8. Con, extremely, extremely, extremely flat image. RX100 Mark V. Really? Yes. The sensor is bigger. It's a Zeiss lens. Okay. You have a lower aperture. Pro for the iPhone, really solid video, and the colors on it come out really good as is. Con, unless you have a Mac, it's kind of a pain in the ass to get it to your computer and use it in any sort of useful way. My RX100 Mark V, the battery dies so quickly. I would say, in terms of like battery life, definitely the iPhone's gonna kill the RX100. Pro, you can buy external batteries for this thing, so if one dies, you can just replace it and keep filming. Con, the battery life sucks. It's so bad. The battery for this died in like 20 minutes while I was filming this video. The, the camera itself is much more capable. Frames per second, you can do some crazy slow motion stuff. Pro for the iPhone 10, the battery life is pretty solid. Unless you're using it to play like AR game shot today, it lasts the entire day, I've never had it die on me. Con, the stabilization is, it's not that great. It's really obvious as you can see here when it's trying to stabilize the video. You know what, I would say in terms of convenience, the, I mean, obviously the iPhone 10 is better. Pro has this flip out screen, really good. Con, really hard to see when it's bright out and it scratches easily. And I don't know if you could see that, but it like frays at the edges, gets like air bubbles in there. Not that great quality of a screen. It's just a dope camera. I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of software stuff that goes into yeah, like, the see, iPhone. I don't, like, um, it looks kind of just looks kind of fake. Pro, obviously amazing portrait quality photos. Con, if there's not enough light, it comes out really bad, really grainy. If it's too bright, portrait doesn't work. If it's too dark, portrait doesn't work. It has to be right in the middle. And if it's not, the quality really sucks. You can make calls out of it, it's in your pocket all the time. Pro for the RX100 Mark V, amazing slow motion capability. Up to like 960 frames a second. Con, it takes forever to write to the SD card. 
If you're doing the 960 frames per second, last time I did a test, it took like over two and a half, three minutes. Okay, one direct thing I will say, you can never shoot anything long with the RX100 Mark V. It'll overheat nine times out of 10. This obviously will never overheat unless you're like sitting out in the sun. So your final the final verdict is the RX100 Mark V. Yes, I would go with that in the day. There you have it, folks. <laughs> Izzy, which one do you think is better? For sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. RX 500. There, that's two for the RX that's 500. Like I was gonna say, more models yeah, go. you're ahead of the game. <laughs> you're ahead of the game. Oh, Thanks, Izzy, for the best. Hey, child, I'm coming back and wash you on your head one more time. No, 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 no.